Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a mini NYC haul. Um, and I just came back from New York City. I had a two week um, business trip to New York City and North Carolina and I just came back and it was so much fun and so exciting it was a great experience but I apologize in advance I really did not have that much time to go shopping I actually only had two free days to do whatever I wanted and since I wanted to eat a lot and see a lot of cool um, but before I do that I just wanted to let you guys know that I have been having problems with YouTube um, I don't know if like some of you are wondering like how come I'm not commenting back as usual how come I'm not thanking new subscribers for subscribing to me things like that I really apologize sorry about all that issues and hopefully it gets fixed so anyway getting back to my mini NYC haul um, they're all Asian beauty products um, mostly my beauty diaries and um, I'm just gonna show you what they are I really really love my beauty diaries I mean everybody on YouTube is practically in love with it and they always recommend it and it's just cute packaging pretty affordable so I was really really excited like this is the first time I was able to purchase it so the first two um, my beauty diary masks that I got was the pearl powder mask and the strawberry yogurt mask so these are boxes of My Beauty Diary mask and they each have 10 packets in it. The packets look like this. Cute, yeah? And for the strawberry My Beauty Diary mask, I'm planning to give it to my sister as a present from NYC. And I'm planning to keep the pearl powder ones for myself. So this one looks like that. See, cute. If you bought two boxes, they're $10 each. So that's really affordable compared to like online prices. I've seen them go for about $12 a box. I've seen them go for like $16 a box. Um, $10 is really good, especially since there's 10 packets in here. So 10 packets, $10, that's like $1 per facial sheet mask. So it's really, really good. And then also from my beauty diaries because I really don't know like what mask is the best and I don't know what um, I was really looking for I just knew that I love my beauty diary mask and I wanted to try them all out I got the Alice in Wonderland my variety set and I got the orange one and the blue one they're so cute oh my god Aren't they adorable? So the lady was explaining to me that the difference between the My Alice in Wonderland sets is that the orange one is the collagen um, firming kind of set and the blue one is the moisturizing set. I can't remember what the pink one was. The pink one was Alice and the bunny on the front. Um, I don't know which set that was but I wanted like a set with moisturizing and collagen so that's why I chose those two um, it basically that's the only difference there's like two different packets so um, this one has two collagen firming and the blue one has two moisturizing packets but all the other packets are exactly the same so I'm just gonna go really fast like through what each one has. Oh, and by the way, each Alice in Wonderland box set has 17 facial sheet masks. Um, 15 of them are variety ones and two of them are exclusive to the box set. I did get these Alice in Wonderland variety packs for about $25. And I don't really know if that's reasonable because I've heard that they've gone for $22 online. So it's kind of peeved about that. So this is what the variety mask set has. I'm just going to show you what they have. They have one strawberry yogurt mask, one pearl powder mask, one cooling mask. They have one sake yeast mask, aloe mask, two of these collagen masks, black pearl mask, the apple polyphenol mask, a natto mask, a Q10 rejuvenating mask, a southern France apricot mask, they have bird's nest mask, red wine mask, Japanese cherry blossom mask, and they have Bulgarian white rose mask and then finally last but not least mixed berries mask so that's all 17 masks it's 
pretty much everything except their like special truffle mask. I should have got that but I didn't because I didn't have enough money but oh my god next time I go to New York or buy Beauty My Beauty Diaries mask I'm totally gonna buy that truffle set because it looks so good and it's supposed to be like even more amazing than the normal ones. Um, so I don't really know what all the masks do, sorry. I know they have like different benefits for each mask and I know some of them are like for acne prone skin, some of them are for oily skin, some of them moisturize your skin, some of them firm your skin, whiten, lighten, brighten, all that good stuff. Um, I will be doing a review in my Beauty Diaries mask. All of these awesome masks, all of them, I will be doing a review on all of them and it will be just an awesome big My Beauty Diary mask review because I love them so much. So far, I have only tried the Pearl Powder Mask and the Strawberry Yogurt Mask and these two are really good so far, although I am a little bit sad that I invested in a whole box set of the Pearl Powder Mask because I really am not really that interested in brightening and lightening my skin. I mean, I guess brightening my skin, but I feel like it has a really strong lightening effect, so I should have gotten another box, but oh well. Okay, now the next thing I got is not as popular as my Beauty Diaries but it is still pretty popular and it's also cute. It is the Face Skew Mask and it is the one with CoQ10, red pomegranate. So it's the cute little girl, the red little girl. And I thought these masks were so cute. I don't know if they're um, as good as my Beauty Diaries mask but they're just so cute and I wanted to get more of them. There was this amazing like variety package humongous mask set thingy of the face cue mask and they had like the blue one and the green one and the yellow one. I'm sorry, I don't know what the flavors are. It was 40 masks for $46. So I really, really wanted to get it but I just could not spend $46 on face cue. So I'm so sad but I really wanted to get her sisters, you know so lonely without her but I will show you what they look like it looks exactly like the box and I pretty much got these ones because they're supposed to I guess have collagen in it and be good for pigmentation and face cream mask was $15 for a box the very last thing I got was the Mayakami Tomeru um, and these are loosely translated to hair velcros. I know that's what a lot of um, other YouTube gurus have been calling them. But it actually translates more to like a hair, a bangs, a bang holder or something. Does that make sense? I don't know. But anyway, I'm just gonna say it's called hair velcros. It's all in Japanese. It took me a long time to read it because my Japanese skills have been getting Okay, basically what it says is that you use it when you're putting on makeup or when you're washing your face and it's easy to use, it's really convenient, blah blah. There's actually several uses for this that I think a lot of people don't know. You can use them just to hold your hair like this. But then you can also use them for like other things like straightening and curling and like whole, making your hair style a certain way so I don't know like these ones aren't as cute as the Kamipito ones that one's more popular um the brand for this one is called Daria Daria but um they are more useful because like I said, you can do things with them. And I don't have time to show you in this video, but if you guys are interested in learning like different ways to use your hair Velcros, um, let me know. They're about $4, by the way. But anyways, so that's all I got. I'm so sad because I wanted to get more products, but I could not get them. Um, maybe next time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and take care and I hope I straighten out all my YouTube problems so I can keep making awesome videos for you guys and keep taking your requests and stuff. But I will see you in the next video. Bye!